Guatemala and we are right now in the jungle of Costa Rica in the amazing Chinampa area. All of this used to be a swamp and we've been digging ponds and trenches to make the water fall and to be able to collect the water in certain spaces. And this is a place where we're growing most of our food. So we have here a food and a medicinal plant that is amazing. So this one is papaya. Scientific name, Carica papaya. Uh, it's a caricase or caracase. <laughs> uh, papaya is an amazing food, but also an amazing medicine. Uh, I learned about papaya first from my mom, because in Latin America, it's, uh, it's the first baby food that you get. It's the best one you can get. It has all the sugars, and it's so digestible for your stomach. It also has digestive enzymes, like papaina, that is going to help you digest other things. So it's the best you can give to your stomach when you're a baby. And also, after that, I learned from one of my uh, botany teachers in the university about the properties of the seed. And the seed is a really good antiparasitic. Uh, you can mash them or you can chew them and swallow it. Usually you can take uh, about a tablespoon every day for about three days and it helps take out any parasite or anything that you, doesn't belong in your stomach. Uh, then we also have the leaves of the plant are one of the most bitter plants um, that we have around here. And they're, they make, if you make a decoction of it or also we can tincture it, um, we also make a juice out of it, which is the most bitter medicine that is used uh, as an antiviral. So for things like uh, like dengue or chinkubunya or Zika, like all these tropical diseases that we can't understand yet, that, that uh, target our liver, uh, and it give, they give us some really high fevers, uh, papaya leaf is the best for that. At the same time, it's it's also working on our digestive system. The dosage for the tincture would be about, it's, it's a high dose plant, so we do about three to five milliliters uh, from three to five times a day, depending on the severity of the person. And also you can do the same with the tea, but you do half a teacup three to five times a day and you, you, you do it until the person is recuperated. Uh, it's also used for, for tropical diseases that we don't understand yet. Uh, we just give papaya leaf for high fevers. I think they have different properties because the seed is better for like bacterial and um, helminth infections in your stomach, in your digestive system. Uh, they also use it for worms, but the leaf is specifically used for high fevers that are caused by viral um, infections. And this is papaya! <laughs> Thank you, papaya! <laughs> Ha 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 